All right. Um, for problem number nine, we need to, we kind of need to know the reference angle. So, quick question. What is the measure from here, zero degrees, to here? Straight line. 180. 180. So now if this is 150 degrees, then what's this little thing right here? 30. 30. So this is 30 degrees. So that's our reference angle. Now cosecant, remember that cosecant is the reciprocal of which function? And also on the unit circle, um, remember that on the unit circle, our x value is cosine and our y value represents sine. So what you need is the unit circle. So what we'll do is we will put in the uh, unit circle. How about that? Which I will let you use on the test. I've kind of memorized, I don't know. I, I remember my professor in college saying it's better to derive these values than to memorize the unit circle, but every year I tell kids, you don't have to memorize the unit circle, and they try to, and then they forget it. I just use the special triangles. So anyways, um, that measurement is this one right here, isn't it? It's this one right here. And sine is one half. So you just need the reciprocal of that. In other words, if sine of 150 degrees equals one half, then cosecant of 150 degrees equals two. That's it. You just reciprocate it. Two over one. Any questions? Um, actually, before I... Um, you can also just plug it in the calculator. Let me show you this little trick. You can plug it into Desmos. Because Desmos actually graphs cosecant. Yes? Hold on, let me show you this real quick and we'll come back and answer your question, okay? So we're saying cosine of 150, right? But let's just do cosine of x, all right? Now this is the tricky part. It has to be in degrees, so I have to go into my calculator and I have to make sure I'm in degrees. All right, now I'm in degrees. When I zoom out, I'm going to say y equals 150. Actually, no, I got to go the other way. Actually, I need x equals 150. x equals 150. That's not right. Somehow I'm messing this up. Yeah, I'm messing this up. I think I need to do this. F. Yeah, I'm doing this wrong. Let's do it this way. F of X okay. equals cosecant. This is what I meant to do. You put it in the table of values and then change this to f of x. f of x sub 1. And then put in 150. There you go. See how it spit out 2?
I think I think my graph when I did it the other way, I think there was I think I had to zoom in more because if I put in x equals 150, that's where it crosses is at too. But it also crosses here at zero. So when I clicked on it before, I just wasn't zoomed in enough. Okay. So anyways, what was your question? But that's how you can double check your answer. Oh, okay. So on the unit circle, right? So it's saying that my measure is from here to here is 150. So what is this right here? 150. Right here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. But the reference angle of 30, you could do it with the triangles too. So like I could say, all right, here's my triangle. This is 30 degrees. Now, do you guys remember the 30-60 the ratios? It's 1, 2, root 3. Remember that sine is a reciprocal of cosecant and sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, right? So then cosecant will be equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite. Well, if this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse, guess what? It's 2 over 1. This is how I do all my trick problems, is I just figure out which triangle it is. It's either the 45-45 or the 30-60 triangle, and I've memorized those two triangles. That's why I always look up the reference angle. But you guys decide how you want to do it, okay? I remember my professor saying that's the easier way and I was like, that seems way harder. 